Good morning everyone and welcome to my 6.30am productive morning routine. For some reason I have been waking up at 6.30 without an alarm for like the past few weeks so I thought I would just let you know what I get up to. So I didn't want to speak as soon as I woke up because I was actually dying off a hangover but um, I usually start off with going on my phone for a little bit but I don't like to go on my phone too much um, in the morning and then drinking some water because your body has been dehydrated for at least eight hours. So this is me just getting ready for my day and I hope you enjoy. I need to start my day every day with taking my hay fever medicine because if I don't then I won't be able to function for the rest of the day. And I wish I could say I'm the only person I take it with water but I don't. I like to make my bed first thing in the morning to discourage me from getting back into it but this is me forgetting where I've put a pillow so enjoy watching this struggle, I find it very funny. I like rough as toast. This won't be a normal morning routine for me because one, I don't have uni and two, I'm hungover. But I'll try and make it as realistic as usual. I think what I'm going to do is get into my gym stuff because I find that if I get into my gym stuff straight away when I wake up, then I'm more prone to exercise. So I'll do that and I also want to tidy up the aftermath of last night because if you come home from a night out and you don't destroy your room, then did you actually come home from a night out? Is it really uncomfortable how low my voice is right now? I'll try and perk up. Skincare time. I had to be really quiet here because obviously it was like half six in the morning and my family would not appreciate me shouting in front of the camera and waking them all up so enjoy this uncomfortable silence while I do my morning skincare. time to tackle this disaster of a room but I actually kind of want to clean my whole room today like Hoover and that but if I get the Hoover out it's now seven o'clock if I get the Hoover out then I think Lara will actually punch my face in so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to tidy up and like clean the surfaces okay ready speed run one and it works is it I'm going to stretch and then I think I'm going to do weights because weights is kind of all I do right now because it's the only thing I enjoy and then I might run for 20 minutes but I just don't like running. Running's boring. I can just see him 
out the window doing a poo in a bush. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to film it. I'm actually going to charge my camera. And I don't want you to see me exercising anyway because I get embarrassed. And my face goes bright red. So I'm not letting you see that. Okay, bye. I am now clean and dressed. What was I going to say? Oh, my gym session was good. I didn't run. Because I didn't want to, so. Now for possibly my favourite part of the morning. Why do I still have morning voice? It is half nine now. I usually get all this stuff done by eight, but I think the camera is distracting me. So the only person I blame is you. I light all my candles and I put my electric blanket on, but I'm not going to just now because I am quite warm. I went for the longest shower because it was just so nice and warm. But what I'm going to do is get back into the bed that I made this morning. Well, it's still morning, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Get back into bed. And I'm going to put my earphones in and do some planning and journaling. And I just feel so much better after it. I've also tried... I'll, I've only done one, okay? But honestly, I think it, it, it was really... It was like... I don't even know how to explain it. It was like an outer body experience. I listened to this manifestation thing on YouTube and it's like a meditation and I've never really meditated before. Like I've tried like yoga and stuff like that, but I've never meditated. And like, I basically had to sit here like this and just listen to it. And it was a visually, <laughs> visualization one. And it was so good. Like you have to visualize yourself where you want to be and what that would entail, like what your life would be like. So I done that and then she she like tells you you have to like open your eyes and bring yourself back into your body and I'm not even joking. Now I'm dramatic. I am very dramatic so you might not believe me and I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. But I opened my eyes and was like, oh my god, I'm not in my body right now, like I can't move. But then you have to like do your breathing and like bring yourself back. So yeah. Actually that to be honest. But I've had this journal so long, it's actually embarrassing. This is the first page. Just take that all in. I don't really put a time limit on it. I just kind of do it until I'm done. Like, sometimes I do short entries. Sometimes I do long ones. Sometimes I just write down things that I want to do. And just, like, get out of my head. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm done. That was good. That was like 15 minutes. So, yeah, it is now. Oh, it's almost 10. So that is my full routine. I'm usually finished by 8, but it is Saturday. So I think I'll give myself a break. Um, yeah, and that just means I'm set up for the rest of the day. I'm feeling good, feeling fresh, feeling energised. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it maybe sparked something in you to be a little bit productive as well um but yeah thank you for watching if you got the whole way through i reckon this will be quite a short video anyway so make sure to just subscribe let's do a subscriber check-in count you're at 180 subscribers last week we had 145 so i would say that's pretty good yeah so my goal is 1000 subscribers by 2022 and i'm gonna get it um i'm gonna work hard and i'm gonna get it so please subscribe. Uh, it's dead easy to make a YouTube account. I think all you really need is an email. Thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.